Guys, I literally just started, I live like down there and I already need a poop. <laughs> Hello, welcome back. Fancy seeing you here. When was the last time I uploaded? Like two weeks ago. I feel like that's good going on my part. Today's episode is the one in which my mum moves to London. Well, this whole YouTube will be about the one where my mum moves to London because it's currently Thursday and I'm running to a health scan appointment. I think the company is called Neko and they do like full body health scans. And that's something that I've, I've wanted to get a blood test forever because like, I don't really want to get too much into it, but like, I can't really tell what's going on with me right now. I haven't really been able to tell for the last three years because I haven't really been able to book in a doctor's appointment. And I heard about this Neko place. I was immediately so excited about it and have managed to get an appointment, which is so cool. And it's actually like a big thing on my bucket list to actually understand what's going on in my body and get tested for everything that I need to. We just jog in there right now. It's only like four kilometers away from my flat, so it's a nice little jog to loosen up. And then I have some meeting with my managers, and then we are going to Chelmsford to look after the babe so Steve can help my mum start packing the van. And then tomorrow on Friday, we're gonna be actually moving mum to London. I can't believe she's actually gonna move here. She's actually kind of not really moving anywhere near me, but it'll be really nice to have on the end of the tube because at the moment it's like a tube and then a train and then a bus to see her so it's pretty long <laughs> tube time is just like it doesn't count you know when she's like 40 minutes away from me on the tube hopefully i'll be able to see her a lot more i miss my mommy also you guys know how i travel a lot for my job the fact that my mom's going to be close to me is going to be really cool because i'll be able to like slot in to see her just for like morning coffees and stuff because even like okay i'm going to give you a little announcement that i'm not going to give anywhere else yet i love how like, my youtube fam always finds out first on thursday of next week I've just found out this morning that I'm going to Texas. So it's extra nice that my mum's moving to London this weekend because hopefully I'll be able to see her a few times before I actually go. I'm actually traveling for, from this Thursday to the end of the month, kinda. Yay for mommy finally being near me. I'm so glad I'm jogging to this appointment. I woke up in the most foul mood. Just like, I, I was just a little bit groggy. I went to bed kind of late. But boy, it feels so privileged to be able to just like jog to my morning appointment. I did have 8k on the plan to do today, but the appointment was four kilometers away. And like, a win is a win, that'll do. Plus, obviously, when I get to Chelmsford later, the focus will be on keeping a small child fed and happy as opposed to me going for a jog. So just had to get in what I could right now, you know? And 4k is just enough to keep me smiling. This really hurts my arm. Can I just get kudos for the fact that I hold my arm up and film on every run? That's a workout in itself. While there's not a lot of people around, I might just show you my outfit real quick. I'm sorry if you can't really hear me. This jacket is from New Balance. It is so warm. It's like fleecy on the inside and it's like a wind cheater on the outside. Leggings. These are from Lululemon. I think they're the fast and free. Huge pockets, really high waisted. I get them in a size too small, so they don't feel the most flattering, but then they stay up. Uh, running socks are Lululemon shoes at like A6 Nova Blast, headphones at Apple, although I wouldn't actually recommend these for running. I'd recommend these more for weightlifting. I just feel like a brown Matilda Jeff when I wear them. I say that every time I wear them. <laughs> do you know something else I should try and do today? I don't know if any of you watched my... Did I do... I did vlogus, didn't I, when I vlogged every day in August. Um, for those of you that watched that and know that I fell over and my headphones got kind of broke, they're still kind of broke, so if you get time today, we're gonna go see if I have Apple Care because I can't remember, because I want them fixed before we go to Texas. Because I'm going to fucking Texas, I haven't even had time to process that yet. Like, we're going to Texas. As soon as I heard it, I was just like, yep, 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 sign me up. Sign me up, daddy. Okay, there's people around me. I'm going to stop shouting at my phone until we get to the place. <laughs> the scan place is five minutes away. I actually don't know how to emphasize how much I need to poop right now, but just know that the waddle is real. And I haven't even had coffee because you're not allowed to have coffee um, before this appointment, within like two hours before this appointment. So. She's a shit and she needs a coffee. So that was good. I'm pretty nervous. I don't really know why. <laughs> Wait, this is weird. Hi. Should I put your shoes on, you guys? Yes, please. Thank you. Take your shoes off. I'll put it in the locker. Thanks. Here you go. Ooh. Cheers. Thanks. Okay, I'm not sure why I'm going to be allowed to film. I've just been asked to stick that dressing gown thing on and then take my weight and then go in there. I that was actually so weird i don't know why it was giving willy wonka vibes but like 
I feel so relieved after that though. I don't know why I feel like I'm gonna cry. I had like all these um, uninvasive tests and it basically came out that I'm at like optimal health, which is just so weird because it's just crazy what your mental can do to your physical because if I am at pretty decent optimal health, then like all the things that are going on with my body are probably related to something mental, which to be honest, I could have guessed, but still it's just kind of weird to hear from a doctor and have that conversation. And like, I have been making up all these illnesses in my head and he was just like, yeah, honestly, you're fine. Like everything you're worried about is absolutely fine. Ooh, this is why I run so much <laughs> to like calm myself down. Also, I just got a DM from a mum saying that like, she told her kid that didn't want to go swimming to get that it would be really good for him to get out of his head and into his body and he thought about it and he did it and he came out swimming in like a better mood and like oh, so I'm healthy and we got a kid to be excited to move like <laughs> we were off to a good start I'm a little bit late though we're on our way to meet my managers now I'm going to get there around 15 minutes late because that did go on a little bit longer than expected I'm absolutely just going to amble there though like I could rush but like I just messaged my manager saying I'm going to be late and I'm rushing over, but they're going to watch this vlog and they're going to be like, you didn't rush at all. Sorry, I just had to make a quick pit stop for a banana. <laughs> I had to get this to celebrate though. Like, I'm so happy that I did that. I don't know what it is, but something about like turning 30 just made me feel like, I don't know. I was just scared for my health. But it turns out I'm in OK Nick. The one thing he did say was that I could maybe watch the sugar a little bit. I'm not sure we're really going to listen to that part, but the rest of it was all good. <laughs> I actually just love walking around Marleybone when it's not busy. It's a good day to have a good day. There's a part during that scam that you get in like a big machine and then the door kind of closes and they take your like robe off you and that's fine because you're just stood in there. But there's another part where the doctor comes into the room and he takes the robe off you and you're just in the middle of the room in just your knickers. That was humbling. I don't know, when was the last time you let a stranger see you naked? I don't know. That was weird, but like, I mean, the result was worthwhile, but like, oh, I wasn't ready for that this morning. I definitely wasn't wearing the right pants to be looked at naked today, though. No. They're like cutting me all up. I'm like, cut up ham. You know what I mean? Everything just like. <laughs> Despite the world wanting to make us feel like women are important, you fucking are. Don't let them win by not looking after yourself, okay? I really want to go and watch this. Maybe I'll ask her to sit for my birthday. My birthday's in like a month. My family keep asking me what I want to do. Maybe I'll ask if they want to go see that with me. Is that a boba teddy? <laughs> I've just made an executive decision. I actually buy like a lot of dumb shit. Like I spend a lot of money on like bougie lip balms and shit that I just don't need. But like now that I'm going to Texas, I feel like I should save my disposable for things in Texas, right? Cause like, I feel like getting cowboy boots in Texas is an obvious. That's just a tough one though, because did you see the boba? <laughs> We're here. Um, I actually don't know what for. Hello. Hello. <laughs> I'm good, how are you guys? This is Minnie, you guys. Minnie's trying to feed us. <laughs> Wait, okay. They look so good. Wait, Minnie's very fashion. It's a good fit. I never think to wear tights, brown tights. Yeah, they're in now. Yeah, you're so fashion. Hey. Louise, okay, this is Fran, you guys. Hey. Hey, sis. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you so much, you guys. Wait, you me. fully kitted us out. This is so cute. You have bananas in this office just cash. No, they're for you. Stop it. Yeah. Wait. <gasps> Wait, you guys know me so well, okay. <laughs> I will absolutely have banana. Yeah, is but it it's good? All, uh, like, yeah, do you want to try it? Can I? It's, it's actually vanilla. really good. This is a vanilla. Yeah, yeah it's it's really tastes good. a bit like grass, but... This yeah. one's really good. It tastes like grass with syrup on it, but it's nice. Mm. Do you know what I really want to do for grass YouTube? Because oh, well, you like the syrup, right? Yeah. Not the matcha. But I really want to the do like- The syrup is incredible though. Taste testing matches around London, but rating it from like arse to 10. Yeah. As like a match of hater. To ten. to ten. No, grass like, no, to ten. Arse to ten. <laughs> arse, arse, arse to grass. Yeah, arse yeah, because grass. grass is one of my yeah. Thank you for having bananas and coffee. It's so cute. I've been so excited for this coffee. Well, I'm just going to set you up on the phone. I was not prepared for this. There she is. Hi, Mama. She's still a banana. <laughs> <laughs> that, I'll never be bored of that. That's to go in the vlog. You guys look. Just me. In the office. I'm 
the rise of the super fit set. Yep. Yep, yep. Yeah. That's me. I never. No way! She's a cover girl. Wait, you guys make me feel so proud. That's it. Have you seen I've got it framed in my flat? <laughs> As you walk into my flat. Bye. See you soon. Bye. Thank you for everything. See you, dude. Every time I have a meeting with my managers, I always try and put it off and try and avoid going and like make excuses as to why I can't go because I'm like someone that is weird with I get nervous about group interactions. And then every time I go and I'm so grateful that I went. Like they're the most inspiring people and they have my back so much and it's so fun. And they come up with all these ideas and strategies and like I love being with them so much. They're so great. So good to meet up with them and just like chat about what I want to do, where I see myself in a few months time, like brands I want to work with. We also sat down and reevaluated brands I'm working with and like if the partnerships are still valid. Cause obviously like this is my job and a big part of it is making money and as well as like influencing people to move. But like we have to sit down and talk about if certain partnerships are still serving me and if they align with my brand and actually some of the ones that I'm working with we had a conversation about like, do they give the right message to you guys, you know? So like, we're always thinking that way. And wait, someone just saw me filming. <laughs> um, sorry. But yeah, they're literally just the best. They support me so much. And I'm actually, I feel so positive coming out of that. Although everything's overrun today. So I need to get moving. So what's the word? I'm so out of the schooling system. Here's the Bebs parents evening is today. So I need to get moving get a few errands run, get back to Essex, because I'm taking him out for dinner. Just gonna make a quick, quick stop and see if I can get these bad boys looked at. Okay, it doesn't look too busy. Even though it's everyone's lunchtime, hopefully we'll get to see someone. That was quick. Someone's gonna call me this afternoon at three while I'm on the train to Essex and hopefully offer to replace these bad boys. Okay, so hear me out. You know how in the morning I ran 4K of my 8K run? Well, I just Google Maps it and it would take me approximately 45 minutes to get the train home from here, but it would only take me about 35 minutes to jog it, so... Maybe I'd jog home. Should we jog, should we jog home? Then technically I've done two, I've done my run, like... Love this for me. Make a quick pit stop and get some snacky snacks. Yoink. Or maybe I get almonds. Yeah. Or maybe I get cashews. Yeah, let's do cashews, let's go crazy. Yum. These nuts. <laughs> okay, let's get home. Running around Piccadilly Circus is crazy. This feels crazy. My fingers aren't working anymore. <sighs> Apparently, I can't do math. And we gotta leave here in like 20 minutes if I'm gonna make it on time for Beb. So, we're not gonna judge me for not having time to shower, okay? Don't you pretend that you always shower after workout. No judgment! What do I even need? Lip gloss, knickers. I'll probably wear this to run in tomorrow. Like summer suit with like a t-shirt from Steve. Just an outfit for tomorrow then. To move mommy. Probably gonna have to do some work on the train down to Essex. My little broken bad boys. Spare headphones. Blacky. Go makeup bag. Even though I probably won't wear any makeup because I never do. Because look at me. Just in case though. Got my abaja moisturizer. Jordan. Take my new rings because they'll make me feel pretty tomorrow. Got a grey hoodie. And then I don't think I'm going to dress up too much. I think I might just wear this like jumpsuit thing from Gymshark because it's really comfy. Another snack. It's not really everything I need for the night. Yeah. To be honest, as long as I have Jordan and fresh pair of knickers, like. Hopefully, no one at the school gates. Like, ugh. Why does she look like that? <laughs> There's my little vlogging camera. How cute is she? Let me just see how much um, battery's on her. Okay, yeah, and now we just sit here for two or three minutes while my phone charges. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I'm actually quite excited. Also, I'm on time. I'm always on time. Steve and I have decided that like 
with parents evenings like you can't have parents and step parents i don't know maybe you can i don't really know i'm new to this but like if beb's parents are gonna be in the parents evening with him then i still want him to think that i'm involved and i care about his education as a step parent so like what we're gonna try and implement is that like i always take him out for dinner around parents evening because then he sees us as like a joined front you know is that the phrase i don't know but like that way as far as he's concerned we're all communicating about like parents evening and i'm still involved just in like a slightly different way whoa 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 i just want to hold you up for one second sorry about this angle by the way why am i sorry i'm not sorry at all this is me my natural habitat this video is in paid partnership with better help if you've not heard of better help it's an online therapy platform with literally like thousands of therapists at your fingertips and they've already helped millions of people and it's truly incredible you guys my plan of action here wasn't actually to go off about how incredible therapy is what i did want to talk about however is that it can be really damn overwhelming and that's not something i feel like anyone's really spoken to me about i just feel like if i'm being really honest i started at the beginning of the year it brought up a lot of emotions or i wasn't ready to digest and i found it really hard and i just wasn't expecting that i wasn't expecting to find every tuesday morning at 10 a.m that difficult and the truth is that despite having a huge goal of being consistent with therapy this year, I ghosted my therapist. What I'm realizing is, yeah, it was super easy to just avoid her and not delve into any of my emotions. But that also has meant that I haven't actually solved any of the issues that I was feeling initially. Therapy is difficult. Not making any change has also been difficult. Sometimes you have to do difficult things to make the everyday a little bit easier, you know? I just don't want any of you to go through that but i also want you to be prepared that it's hard work but i really believe it to be worth it so i'm going to give it another go also i'm not sure what any of you guys are going through right now however i know what it feels like to be asked the question how are you and to never answer the question honestly it just feels like you're not making deep connections with people and i don't want that for any of you i don't want that for any of us i am going to give it another go i know a lot of us lean on exercise for our mental health when i started therapy at the beginning of the year i did Feel, feel like I found a good balance between therapy and exercise um and I'm just gonna give that combination another go and I'm gonna try a little bit harder to stick at it this time I think this time of year as well it can be really disappointing it can be really overwhelming it can be really lonely it, do you know what those feelings can occur at any time of year and we all have different reasons for feeling different things right now however our mental health is important if you feel like you could do with a little support too then maybe therapy could be a really good option I'm so proud to be collaborating with a brand that feels so authentic to me and they've really kindly given me a link which i'll stick in the description box but yeah i'm actually going to be trying to nudge myself back into therapy gently and the goal is that this conversation generally may highlight the existence of this incredible platform to anyone else that needs it anywho let's get back to the youtubes oh my goodness it's such good timing <laughs> This is the service to... Hi James, my name's Savannah Sashter. Good afternoon. Um, so I bought some Air Maxes and I fell over in them. It's the boys! Uh... Hello? How many stickers I've got? Let me see. I've got so many stickers. <laughs> Why you got so many stickers? For being good. I think he's stolen. Uh, life him. is better with... Life is better with them. I agree. We agree, don't we? Yep. Absolutely. We know life's better than with sweets. Yeah, what do I Lots of sticker. We're big Bogaz fans. Let's see how good parents' evening goes. Maybe we can get some dessert after. I have this. The avocado and feta. The avocado and feta salad. And then what else do you want? You want. And then from this menu. And then from this menu, and have a chicken menu. Okay, we'll order that. You go with. I'll show them in the toilet. They don't want to see in the toilets. <laughs> you want to take them in the toilet? I, I just want to show the outside, inside the bathroom. Come on, then. In here. Very good. Pink Now, we're leaving. Okay, you didn't vlog while you weed? No. Okay, good. We got just a normal salad and then you, we got the avocado and feta salad as well. It looks good, right? Mmm. Mm. We got chicken sheesh for me. We got, what'd you get? For chicken wings. It's good vlogging. Well played. <laughs> and daddy got... We got the same. My favourite bit is the jalapenos. These things. I know, but it's jalapenos. They're welcome. 
burgers are so lean. What you could do, use your knife before, to sort of like rip them apart a little bit. Try to give me Turkish delight. Sure. Which one do you want? Good night. Good night, thank you. Which one do you choose? Uh, no, no, come on. Okay, because I want this one. <laughs> Okay, you get me into the park. Daddy's going to, to your parents' evening. And we're going to play with these, yeah? Are you proud of him? Yes, we, yes, we are proud of Cameron. <laughs> it is currently this many hours and minutes. My brother's going to come here in a bit because basically some of the um, furniture that Steve has here, this big old thing and this big old thing is mum's. So that's all going to be loaded into the van to sort out with my mum's stuff. And then... Steve and my brother are going to go back to my mum's and load the van as much as they can whilst I sit here and hang with the bib and do some work and wash my hair and probably have some chocolate. Hey, no, you're not in my Just a little bit of chocolate. Dairy milk or galaxy? Dairy milk. <laughs> you can't ask me, expect an answer and then not answer. Mm -hmm. You didn't give an answer. Day to day. You're welcome. Dairy milk on my period galaxy. You yeah. boys do the heavy lifting. I'm going to sit here and edit my vlog. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm such a hard worker. Oh, <laughs> nah, look at me, please. What did I just say about what happens after you? Do you remember what I said? Yeah, so how much longer do you get? 10 more minutes and then we're going to do some reading, okay? Okay, love you. Anything they could find. And all the time, the water came pouring and roaring down upon them, bouncing and smashing and sloshing. Okay, I don't want to jinx it, but I've left him to read on his own for another 10 minutes. And hopefully he'll fall asleep doing that. But there's no tears yet. And normally he cries when Dad goes out because he wants me to let him stay up later. But there's no tears yet. Asleep, celebrating. He's in bed, he's pretending to be asleep, but he seems fine. <laughs> the thing with kids is that when they're in a bad mood and they've created drama, then you're fucked. Like bedtime's a nightmare because they're already miserable. However, when they're in a good mood, then they think that they can take liberties, and then bedtime is also a drama. So, like, I don't know why tonight went so smoothly, but I'm very pleased. Especially because it's 10 p.m. <laughs> I'm finally clean, hooray. Steve is still at my mum. Yeah, the bed's asleep. He did read himself. He read himself un unconscious. How cute is that? God, it's just so nice that Steve's with my mum. Meeting a boy with the same culture as me wasn't important, but meeting a man with the same values as me was. So, like, I just wanted a man that would show up for my family. And it's just so nice that he's with them doing like helping my brother load the van while my mum probably watches um, and I'm just going to chill on the sofa for a little bit I've got my laptop I'll probably edit some of this together so that it's up ASAP and then hopefully Steve will be home soon I'll raid his cupboards to see if there's anything else yummy in there but otherwise I think I'm going to call it a night and I'll see you tomorrow for moving day Good morning ladies and disappointments <laughs> It's Friday morning. It's Friday, right? Yeah, it's Friday, yeah. self-employed life. Um, which means it's the day that my mum moves in. Which means she's probably in a van somewhere crying. That's not actually that funny. We don't know how to deal with today because like, I don't know if any of you have, you have ever had to move your parents, one of your parents out of like your family home. But like, the thing with like my family is you can never anticipate how anything's gonna go. So today's already, just, I don't know. I'm feeling a little unbalanced. I'm feeling a little nervous. Like. She's obviously going to be emotional, but she's got the whole team with her. Me, my brother and Steve, we're all going down to help. We've got Steve the Builder over here. Mm. Steve used to be a plumber, did you know that? Fantastic. Yeah, we're just on our way. We're just leaving Chelmsford, which is where Squeezy lives. Feel free to call him Squeezy whenever, yes, whenever you'd like. If you ever see him around London, feel no, free. Please, please he loves don't. it. He please literally don't. loves it. On our way to London right now, the, my brother and my mum are driving the van full of all her shit up to... Say again. A good cast. Yeah. And they've got one of those cool vans that like goes, that zzz, zzz. I'll show you later. We're getting the train up because the van only had three seats. Oh yeah, I mentioned I'm going on a PR trip with Adidas in six sleeves. <laughs> <laughs> to Texas. I'm going to have some Texas barbecue. <laughs> 
Also, have you seen, I forgot what it's called, there's um, there's like that massive petrol station in Texas called Bukies. Have you seen it? No. It's, it's like, Eaton with Todd went there recently right. and it's literally like, it, it's massive. They have like bakeries, they've got like a meat section. It looks unreal. I'll show you. Uh, you can watch my content when I post it. <laughs> <laughs> The deal is that if I carry the toolbox, he buys coffee. Because not even that heavy. Because <laughs> I'm an athlete that trades every day. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm coming, I'm coming. These look so good. Look at them. Mayonnaise, hot chocolate, pistachio, hot chocolate. What? Guys, there's two different kinds of people. So you just pointed out, I always drink my cappuccino with the lid on because I like it to stay extra hot. But he has to have it like this. You can't have a lid on the cappuccino, right? Because he likes to feel the foam. Yeah, but you won't get the foam otherwise. And you don't smell it. <laughs> Italian people know. Here she is. Hi, mommy. How are you feeling? Oh, you don't cry. Don't cry. It's an exciting day. And you look beautiful. And it's beautiful out there. Oh, I'm so proud of you. Hi, driver. Hello, oh, Mr. Driver. So I've got the keys here. Got Beep it. Yeah. <laughs> Honk if you're an intellectual. <laughs> How'd I end up with this job, you guys? As the worst driver in the world. Stop! 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 Okay, now go. Is this what you're even supposed to do? Yeah. No! No! Okay, the gate's closing. We don't have to keep it open. Shit! Oh, I figured it out. Yes. Okay. Yes. Come on. Yes, Baya. Stop! Yes. What's the best we get this in? Surely we're gonna make it. People are beeping. I'm doing my best. <laughs> no, I did. I did a really good job. I re well played. <laughs> I tried. I did good. We made it through the first hurdle. Fuck yeah! Yay! Now we should get it all upstairs. It's gonna be so weird having you in a flat. I know. I know. I'm kind of excited about it. It's just less shit to look after. I know, and you feel safe. Yeah, exactly. I kind of wish I had this. Let's go get first view. I haven't seen it yet. I'm really excited. I need to give you the stuff to walk in, take the shoes off. Okay. Shoes off. No, outside shoes on the inside floor. My favourite sweets. Benny's time. <laughs> I'm just put in the kitchen somewhere and mm -hmm. then I'll come. Hello. Oh, hello. This is cute. Yeah, can you give one to Steve as well? Good work, Thank you, guys. Thank you. First person to cry pays for lunch. Let's go. Let's go see Mum's flat. Wait, give us a tour. Ooh, the light's good. Very bright. Okay, we've got enough storage in here. Okay. Oh, the wardrobe's decent. Uh, look at that. Oh, that's ideal. You've got loads of space. Yeah. Okay. I think I'll put the bed here. So there'll be space either side. So you wake up and you're looking out the window yeah. that way. Okay, that'd be nice. Um, there's a balcony. Ah. Uh, so in the mornings you can wake up and just go sit outside. I when we have a key. <laughs> Lots of space for all your slippers. Steve's still here. And then. Um, yeah, I really like it. I like how modern it is. It's nice and big for you to use for all of us. Yes. Oh, you got a washing machine. And then this is a nice bathroom. It's perfect for you. Is it? One eleven. Place your bets. How long will it take us to get all the boxes upstairs? One hour twenty nine. No, one hour twenty four. Loser buys lunch. <laughs> we are done emptying the van. I feel like that's not bad. Proud of us. It took us an hour and two minutes to empty the van. Crazy, huh? Is it completely empty? Yeah. The troops are hungry. We had a choice between chop to a little look, chipotle and prep. What are you going to get? What are you going to get? You like them, don't you? 
quite yeah. Swedish meatball hot wrap. Mm. The chicken Caesar sandwich is my friend, is my favorite. I'm gonna get this one for me. Oh, we're getting on the Christmas lunch one. And then, mom likes these. I like this. And Steve likes this. We'll get those three. She hasn't really cried today. We've emptied the van, which is great. We're doing really well. She lives 45 minutes away from me on the tubes. And we all know tube distance doesn't even count. Like, if you have to not get in a car, then it doesn't, it just disappears. Oh yeah, she's 60, so it's free. I was just taking back sustenance. And then... Go back, mm -hmm. build the bed. Yeah, let her build the bed. But also, I'm probably just going to let her have an early night tonight. Because... I feel like whenever when we moved into our place in London, it was really useful to just like be alone and be emotional and just like unpack in your own space. So as much as she's gonna want to keep us there, I think we might actually give her some space to just like fathom that this is her new life. Cause how much, mom? This little feast. Everybody keeps shouting at me because I got coffee on the floor, but then I also got cold served coffee in this. So whose fault is it really? You can have the mug, Squeezy. Oh, thanks. Steve's currently building the bed. It's better than the bowl. <laughs> um. mm -hmm. What did I do? Steve. No, okay. I think I just found the hole. Steve. Yeah. I just found the hole. <laughs> oh, did you? Yeah. Hello, friends. It's actually quite a few hours later. It's 9 p.m. We're just getting home. But mum's moved in. And she's actually in pretty good spirits. She has a friend that lives just down the road from her, which I actually didn't know. But she invited her friend round, I guess, to... Have a drink, set her in. She actually seems really happy and we got everything unpacked. She just needs to unpack her clothes. We just left her the stuff that she'll need to unpack herself to like fully settle in, you know? We just did like the heavy lifting. But everything for sure has its place, which I think is like the most difficult part. And she's like, she's got the kitchen and her bed good to go. And I feel like they're the main things, right? So yeah, I feel quite, quite good about that. I'm just on my way home right now. I still haven't run today. I didn't actually film this morning, but when I woke up, had breakfast with baby and Steve, did a little bit of editing and got some work done and then pretty much came to see mum. So yeah, I haven't done my run yet. So although it's quite late, I'm gonna have to go do a mile or two, but I'm quite excited for it. Like I feel like I need to shake off the day and it'll be super comfortable. I'm, I'll probably just have like a grenade bar or something when I get in, give myself some energy. I guess I'll sign off because tomorrow morning is Saturday and I need to get this edited. And I'm also meeting a friend at 7 a.m. tomorrow, which is very me coded. I think this is gonna go live on either Sunday or Monday. We'll find out together, but thank you for spending the last couple of days with me. As always, I love having you. If you would like to like and subscribe, that mean the world. Um, but I hope you've had a great week, weekend. I hope you continue to be a fucking legend. I adore you, and I will see you guys real soon. Just no guarantees as to when, because as we all know, I'm flaky as fuck. <laughs>